Right. Good. We're going to be demonstrating front limb range of motion. For this exercise, you want your pet to already be relaxed, laying on their side. You can sit above them, straddled, or whatever position is comfortable for you. You're going to start by raising the arm so that it's parallel to their body in the same plane as it would be when they're walking. So you don't want the arm way out here and you don't want to be too close to the ground either. Just parallel to their body. We're going to be doing range of motion on three joints. The wrist or the carpus, the elbow, and the shoulder. So for the wrist, you're going to put one hand below the wrist and one hand above. Notice my hand movements are always going to be open. I'm not pulling on the paw at any time. These are all guided movements to the pet's tolerance. Extension, flexion. Extension, flexion. You can hold each stretch for one to two seconds and do about 20 repetitions per joint. We're going to move on to the elbow. So one hand is below the elbow, one hand above. We're going to come into flexion and extension, flexion, extension, okay? And finally, the shoulder. We're going to come to flexion by bringing the elbow to touch the chest. And extension, you're going to try to get them to touch that paw towards their nose. So flexion extension. Again, realize that this is a much greater range of motion than if you're just doing a bicycle movement where you're not going to get the full extension and flexion of each individual joint. And that concludes front limb range of motion.